Here locally at home, Dallas Police Department tonight investigating some of their own. Sources tell CBS 11 News that at least six, maybe up to a dozen or more, have been caught up in a pyramid scheme to make money. Our J.D. Miles with new details tonight on the story that he first broke back in March. Pyramid schemes disguised as gifting programs began a resurgence at the beginning of the pandemic, according to financial fraud expert Bill Dendy. The scheme tends to come about when people are looking for some good news. They're looking for a quick way to make a few dollars. They're looking for something that has hope. That's what sources say led dozens of Dallas police officers inside the South Central Patrol Bureau to contribute thousands of dollars each with the promise of bigger payouts by recruiting more officers into what's known as an illegal pyramid operation. Now, it's kind of ironic that the Dallas Police Department has the swindle unit in which they educate people on these types of crimes and the risks that are available. However, anybody can get involved in this. Sources say at least six, but likely more than a dozen officers have been placed on administrative leave this week, while the internal investigation will be forwarded to the Dallas County District Attorney's Office. Historically, the perpetrators of Ponzi schemes have faced prison sentences from 13 to 20 years or more. We consider this to be a very serious crime I've never experienced a Ponzi scheme type situation since I've been on my 31 years. So this this whole thing's new right here. Terrence Hopkins is president of the Black Police Association. He says he's concerned that some of the officers facing a public integrity investigation may be unfairly accused of a crime. That investigation needs to be sound and it needs to be uh, well directed with no malice. Uh, I believe that some people were told one thing and others did uh, something else. And I think a lot of these officers are going to be found to be victims as opposed to conspirators. When we first broke the story about the gifting program back in March, as many as 40 officers had contributed to it. But we're told only those officers who tried to recruit others to join have now been temporarily removed from their jobs. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11.